Hey, I'm Camille, co-founder of JuneBot. Welcome to a quick tutorial to finding your way around JuneBot. Today, I'll do a quick tour of JuneBot web app to help you get started. Let's dive in. Getting started with JuneBot is easy. Whether you are looking to get more leads, make more sales, or want feedback on your project or service, this video will give you the tools to make your first chatbot. Let's get started. When you log into JuneBot, the first thing you'll see is your dashboard. This is where you can see all the chatbots that you create. Click on this green button to create your first one. You can start from scratch or use one of our templates to get started. I'll give my chatbot a name and we are ready to go. To create your JuneBot, all you need to do is creating a flowchart. Add blocks that are elements of conversation and link them together. That's how you create a conversation. Let's take the open answer block. We can change the text, add a placeholder, decide if we want a single line answer or a paragraph, and if we want the answer required. Placeholders are helpful in general when you expect some specific kind of answer. Here, for example, I'm expecting an email, so I will add an email example in the placeholder field. You can also use buttons and picture choice blocks that give a ready-made answer to users and structure your data. You can ask for a document or specific info like a date, a number, an email or a phone. We created some rules that check if the answer is correct. Also, sometimes you need to say something, react to a previous answer. You have text, video and image blocks for that. To make your JuneBot more personal, you have hidden fields, logic jumps, and calculation blocks. Hidden fields are info you give to your JuneBot so that it can reuse it during the conversation and add it to your data results. For example, hidden fields allow you to use data that you already have to avoid asking the email of your customer again when he has an issue, act as a traffic origin tracker to enrich your data, and know who answer your survey. Logic jump block brings user to a specific block based on your conditions. Conditions can be previous user answers or calculation results. So you can use logic jumps to give personal recommendation or segment your audience to give priority to hot leads or premium customers. With calculation blocks, you can make calculations with variables and user responses. You can evaluate prospects, share the result of a quiz, make estimates and more. If you want to send an email, trigger a zap, send data to your Google Sheets, you can do all that in minutes with our integrations. We have dedicated tutorials on Zapier and Google Sheets that you'll find on our YouTube and in our Help Center. About email integration, you can trigger an email to you, your team or the chatbot user if you previously asked for his email. To avoid some work, you get by default an email notification every time a conversation ends. You can change and add more email addresses. In the case you don't want those emails, you can remove your email address. If you want to go further, like sending or getting data from specific third-party apps like your custom database, you can do it with a webhooks integration. For that, you need a bit of code. Icing on the cake, if booking an appointment is how you do your business, you will love JuneBot. We have an integration with Calendly. Your leads can book a meeting easily directly within the JuneBot interface. On the design tab, you can personalize the aspect of your chatbot. You can choose between several formats, full page, embed and widget ones. For example, on widget format, you can customize your catchphrase, change the colors of the text bubbles, upload your own avatars, tune your own language and your chatbot position. Soon, you'll be able to edit the font and within the full page format, you'll be able to add an image on the right side. 
You can refine your audience by choosing on which web page your chatbot will appear and regarding your traffic source. Google Ads, UTM parameters, referrers, you can control all that. You can share your chatbot by using the link to the full page format URL here. You can customize the URL with your own domain name. To install Junebot on your website, nothing is easier. If you have a CMS, you only need to master the art of copying and pasting. Everything is detailed in our help center. You retrieve all your conversations here. Depending on if you activated or not the Remember Visitors feature here, your chatbot will be able to know if the user is a returning visitor or a newcomer. The conversations will be stacked if it's the same user. When the Remember Visitors feature is activated, the browsing experience is better. When a visitor navigates on your website or comes back later, he finds the conversation he previously had with your bot where he left it. Also, if you want to analyze your results, you can export your data as CSV. You can add custom goals in the conversation to follow the conversions you want. Results end up in the metrics tab. You have your custom dashboard with your custom metrics. Also, A-B test blog is here to help you improve your conversion rate. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can reach us through a chatbot available within your Junebot account. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything. Have a great day. Bye.